Windows Defender helps protect your computer against slow system performance and security threats caused by viruses and spyware. Malware might install itself without your knowledge. It could come from an email, a website, or software you installed. This video shows how to use Windows Defender to scan for malicious software in Windows 8. To open Windows Defender, type Defender in the Windows Start screen. Then select Windows Defender from the search results. The home window opens. If PC Status Protected displays in the window title bar, Windows Defender is enabled and real-time protection is turned on. This feature allows Windows Defender to notify you when malware tries to install itself or run on your computer. If PC Status at Risk displays on the window title bar, click the Turn On button to enable real-time protection. From the home screen, you can select Quick to run a quick scan that checks the places on the hard drive where malware is most likely to infect. Or, you can select Full to run a scan that checks all files on your hard drive and all currently running programs. Or, if you suspect malware in a specific area of your computer, you can run a custom scan on individual drives and folders. For this example, we will run a quick scan. To do this, select Quick and then click Scan Now. The progress bar shows the status of the scan. Scan times will vary. When the scan is complete, the results appear. In this case, you see a number of items scanned and the message, No threats detected on your PC during the scan. If Windows Defender detects harmful software, the software names would appear in this window. With a custom scan, you can change the file types, locations, and processes that are scanned to include archived files, such as zip or cab files, and removable drives in a scan, click the Settings tab, click Advanced, and then make sure the Scan Archive Files box is checked. To include removable drives, select Scan Removable Drives, and then click Save Changes. To increase the speed of a scan, you can exclude files, locations, and processes from a scan. To exclude specific files and locations, click Excluded Files and Locations. Click Browse. Find the file or location you want to exclude. For this example, we will select the Saved Games folder. Click OK. The folder name appears in the File Location box. Select the file and click Add. The added file name displays in the Name box. To select more files or locations, click the Browse button and repeat the process. When you have added all the files you want to exclude, Click Save Changes. The selected files and locations will be excluded from the next custom scan. To exclude all files of a certain type, click Excluded File Types. For this example, we will exclude all MOV videos. Type MOV in the File Extensions box and click Add. The file types and extensions appear in the box below. If you change your mind, you can also remove them from the box by highlighting the file and clicking Remove. Click Save Changes. The file type will be excluded from the next custom scan. To exclude processes, click Excluded Processes. You can click Browse to find the process file. Or, if you know the process file name, type the name in the Process Names box. For this example, we will exclude the windmail.exe process. Type windmail.exe and click Add. The file name displays in the name box. After you've added the process files you want to exclude, click Save Changes. The processes will be excluded from the next custom scan. After making changes to the scan settings, use the Custom Scan option on the Home tab to run future scans. If Windows Defender detects malware, it quarantines the software and prevents the software from running until you restore it or remove it. To view a list of quarantined items, select the History tab, click Quarantined Items, and then click View Details. Quarantined items appear in the Detected Item box. To get additional information, click the item and scroll through the box below. After reviewing the information, you can choose to Remove All, remove, or restore the item. 
You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash how to for you.